Welcome to my channel Engineer Adnan Rashid. Dear friends, I have started a new series of lectures that is based on solving problems from mechanics of materials. I hope you will enjoy this video. So kindly watch, subscribe and like my videos. Thank you. Okay, in this problem 1.4, it is given that uh, uh, in problem 1.3, the uh, the figure of previous problem knowing that p is 40 kips now it is given that p is 40 kips so determine the average normal stress in mid section of rod ab and bc so if you are uh, if you have watched the previous lectures so you will be definitely able to understand what it wants so uh, it is given now given that this p is 40 kips okay and you have to find also the diameter of rod DAB is 2 inch and diameter of rod let's write it DAB is 2 inch and DBC is equal to 3 inch clear so you have to find the average normal stress at the midsection of AB and average normal stress of section BC. So let's start with the solution. So as in figure, as from figure you can see that rod AB is subject to only tensile stress which is P and that this P is 40 kips. So load of P A B is 40 kips and area of A B which is equal to pi by 4 D A B square which is pi by 4 D D is 2 inch so 2 square which will give you 3.1416 inch square so now you have to find the stress in the mid section and this as this PAB is 40 kips so this AB is in tensile stress tensile stress so we have to find the tensile stress sigma AB which is equal to again PAB over area of section AB. Now this is 40 kips and this is 3.1416 and when you solve this you will get 1273 KSI. So since this stress is positive, so definitely this sigma AB will be a tensile stress. Sigma AB is equal to 12.73 KSI. So this is a tensile stress. Now we will solve for rod BC for rod BC. Now you can see from the figure that this rod BC is subjected to two forces 30 30 kips of each and this P. So total load acting on this BC will be the this force minus this. So this is 30, 30, 60, 60, uh, sorry, uh, 60 force is acting in this direction and 40 force is acting in this direction. So if you uh, subtract, uh, for, uh, if you subtract uh, these two forces, you will get a negative load which shows that this rod BC is in compression. So load for rod BC, load which is PBC is equal to 40 minus 2 times of 30 KSI which is equal to minus 20 KSI so it shows that it is in compression 
so we have to find this compressive stress so area of bc which will be equal to pi by 4 dbc square and that will give you pi by 4 3 square which is equal to 7.0686 inch now you have to find stress in bc which is equal to pbc over a bc area of bc rod now the stress is minus 20 and this area is 7.0686 that will give you minus 2.83 ksi so sigma bc will be equal to minus 2.83 ksi means that this rod bc is subjective to compressive stress the negative sign shows that this is a compressive stress so we have find out the tensile stress in rod a b and compressive stress in rod bc so this was our finding sigma a b and sigma bc so uh, that was all about problem number 1.4 it was a easier one and i hope you have understand this problem if you have any question you can ask thank you